Y'all don't even understand. Uh, maybe you do. I won't insult your intelligence. Pastor gave us that test or had us do that thingy <laughs> where you know your gifts because he wants us to know our assignments. We are no good if we don't know our assignment, if we don't know why we're here. Yes, God is good. Yes, he's blessed. But do you know and understand your assignment? How can you be indifferent with all that's going on in the world and, and, and not getting along with your brothers and sisters? You don't understand your assignment. When babies are getting killed, you don't understand your assignment when you can be indifferent and, and fall out with people over nothing. You don't understand your assignment. It doesn't matter where you are in life and how insignificant you think you are, you have an assignment. I promise you do. God don't make no mistakes. And if you got breath in your body, you have an assignment. You have to know and understand your assignment. He's called us, the main assignment is to reconcile men back to him. You can't tell nobody about Jesus. You don't understand the assignment. You can't witness to nobody. You don't understand the assignment. You can't give nothing. You don't understand the assignment. Because at the end of the day, when we stand before the Lord, he won't talk about your assignment. Newsflash. He don't talk about that life he gave you. Newsflash. That's all that really matters is your assignment. God has taken, Jesus on the cross took care of everything you need. He's given us everything for life and godliness. So in other words, you have no excuse not to complete your assignment. None. Not death. Not life. Give me, just throw one at me. You have no excuse not to complete your assignment. Amen. Here's, here's what we need to do at this point in our lives. If you're confused about your assignment, if you're not understanding clearly your assignment, the main thing we have to do is get focused. Stop taking in so much other stuff. Get focused on why we're here. You understand what happened? You are blessed to be a blessing. You understand God saved you so you can tell the world. You can, you know, spread it. You, you know, you understand all that. Get focused. Proverbs four and twenty five says, "Let your eye look directly forward, and your gaze be straight before you. Stop looking around for answers and an escape is a way to get out of your assignment. Stop looking to the blogs and all this stuff to make you feel good about yourself. Get focused and complete your assignment." I was listening at um, John Evans, who is the son of Tony Evans. He talked about when his mother, they found out that his mother was dying with cancer. And they had his, his daddy called them all in and they had their breakdown, which is, is you know, your mama dying. That's, that's a hard pill to swallow. And he said his mother sit up in her bed and said, get focused. This is an attack from the enemy, but we have an assignment. Get focused. If I go, I'm going to be with the Lord, but y'all get focused. Hard times will come, but get focused. Disappointments have come, but get focused. You have an assignment. that must It can only be completed by you. It's your assignment, and you need to know it and understand it. Get focused. That's the first thing you do. Get focused. Get your mind off of all that's going on around you. All your feel good things. Yeah, it's all right to feel good, but you got to be good. If you're just feeling good, you can't help nobody because when the situation changes, you might not feel good again. Get focused. Make sure 
you are on the path that God has you for you to follow. My assignment, my personal assignment might not be your assignment. So don't look at me. Look to the Lord. Let him show, ask him. I remember so clearly back, you know, right after Barbara died, our pastor did a message about, he said, ask the Lord to visit you. Ask the Lord. I asked him, and I'm going to tell you something that was so glorious, that the Lord, I felt the presence of the Lord. It was nothing like it. Just because I asked him to. So here, if you need to get folks, ask him, Lord, get me focused. What is my assignment? What am I here for? Because when you stand before him, you're going to have to give an account for it. So it behooves you to find out what it is you're supposed to be doing. What is my purpose? What is my assignment? The second thing is to seek the Lord for guidance. Proverbs 3 and 6 said, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. Let the Lord show you what to do. Don't try to figure it out on your own. He gave you the assignment. He must know what you need to do. Don't go ask Billy Bob, Sally Sue, unless the Lord sent you to Billy Bob and Sally Sue. But first of all, go to the Lord and ask him, Lord, what would you acquire me? What is my assignment? Why am I here? Y'all want to know why you're here? I'm a little bit scared because I'm just finding it out. I just got my assignment clear in my head. It's, it, it, it's cause, mainly because I didn't want to get it clear. I'll just be honest with you. I'd rather throw in the towel. But that would be a slap in God's face. Because he bought me from a mighty long way. And all he asked me to do is stand. Proclaim the gospel. Tell somebody how good he is. Help somebody who needs to be helped. Tell a single mother how it is when you have a child at 19 years old. You don't know your head from a hole in the ground. You can tell somebody that. Know and understand your assignment. The third thing I want you to do in knowing your assignment is put on Christ. We got to put on Christ. Romans 13 and 14 say, but... Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. That feel good? Mm -mm. Put on Christ. So when people look at you, they'll see Jesus. They won't see who they think they see. They'll see Jesus. It'll be without a shadow. It'll be Jesus. You got to put him on. It used to be a song say, take the Lord with you. You're going to need him. Somebody's going to need it from you. They don't need to see my imperfections. They need to see the Lord Jesus Christ in me, operating and moving through me. We got to put on Jesus Christ for the assignment. You can't do it without getting focused. You can't do it without seeking guidance. You can't do it without putting on Christ. Christ.